It's the most powerful transportable laser ever created. It can burn through solid steel in just a matter of seconds. They call it the Jehipsal. And Northrop Grumman says it burns at roughly the same temperature as the surface of the sun. Movies have portrayed lasers as weapons too powerful for anyone to use, but no one has paid any attention because they simply didn't exist. That is until now. Northrop Grumman says they have a transportable laser that could be mounted on a fighter jet, giving it the capability to knock other aircraft out of the sky. What's more, the enemy wouldn't even know what hit him because the 100 kilowatt laser is invisible. It's not quite Buck Rogers. I don't get the big explosion, but in fact, I, I aim at a soft spot and, and, and take away the plane's ability to fly. So more like a, a lightsaber, just cutting right through a wing. More like a lightsaber. Wilt says the laser isn't a great offensive weapon, but it's still a game changer. That's going to revolutionize the way that, that warfare is, is fought. The, these systems give you an incredible ability to defend yourself. Warfare ethicists agree that it's still easier to use a smart bomb to take out a human target than a laser. But this new technology does stack America's deck against the rest of the world. But Professor Smith says, historically, that's the whole point. We were in the same situation when we were the first one with the, with the atomic bomb. This is precisely the same situation. Smith says the laser isn't going to change the world overnight. But if it is successful, the possibilities are out of this world. Studying military history is understanding that the game continues. The Jehipsal has moved through R&D and is now in field testing. And they say they can have it up and running in as little as five years. And just be thankful you've never had to stand in front of one of these. From Northrop Grumman in Redondo Beach, back to you in Hollywood.